Hi guys, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all of you, to all who have subscribed and who watch my videos. Sometime during the last week my subscriber count crept above the 100 mark and that has me very excited, so thank you all of you for that. And since this is probably the high point of my YouTube career, I think that this would be a good time to move on, you know, make room for the next generation. No, joke. But I am going to go away for a couple of weeks. I'm going on my big holiday of the year tomorrow. And I haven't pre-filmed anything and I won't be able to watch much either because the internet connection is usually pretty bad in the places I'm staying. And most of all I won't be reading much either because I'll be too busy during the day and I know from experience that I'll be too exhausted in the evenings to, to concentrate on a book. And then during my many coach journeys I'll be too distracted by the landscape, so that leaves the flights and maybe one or two hours of coach journeys for reading. I have made a TBR, but it is accordingly minimalistic. I have quite a few books on my Kindle that I have saved for an occasion like this for journeys and holidays. And since I'd only be able to read for small chunks of time here and there, I thought that a short story collection might be the way to go. And I'm planning on reading at least a few stories from George McKay Brown's collection, A Time to Keep, which um, uh, is a collection of short stories that are all set on Orkney. I'm not going to go to Orkney, unfortunately. I've wanted to go to Orkney for some time now, but it's just never worked out. But I'm all the more glad I have this short story collection. As for the novel of choice, I'm not really sure. I've wanted to read Nine Fox Gambit, the first in the Machine Race of Empire series, for a while now. But I think it might be just a tad too complicated to read on a journey when I'm distracted all the time and when I'm running around through stations and airports all the time, so this might not be the right time to pick up a book like that. So I was thinking a nice easy to digest fantasy book might be the right choice. I'm torn between two alternatives. On the one hand I have Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. Um, this is a YA urban fantasy about a witch, or a bruja, as this is Latin American inspired, who accidentally banishes her family into the realm of the dead, or thereabouts, and has to try and get them back. So this seems to be exactly right for this time of the year, but on the other hand, I have become very cautious about YA fantasy. So I reserve the right to change my mind after a couple of pages and switch to my other option, which would be A Stranger in a Laundry by Sophia Summertown. This is a fantasy novel that is set in a world that is inspired by... I don't, I don't really know, either by the medieval or early modern Arabian world or the Ottoman Empire. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but it's supposed to be beautifully written and really really slow going. I hope that a super slow book like that is the right choice for a trip like that where I am hurrying around all the time and might not be in my most patient state of mind. In case it isn't, I always have a thriller or two to go on my Kindle as well. I will tell you all about the outcome of this in a couple of weeks. The next video that I'll upload will probably be a recent reads video that equals a September wrap-up and I hope I'll be able to throw in some pictures or even video footage from my holiday as well. I will see you all on the other side of my holiday, exhausted but hopefully happy and I hope you all will have a great couple of weeks as well. Bye bye!